Hey everyone, my body kit's here. Got the Varus Supreme body kit for the 890 Supra. And uh, luckily, Bulletproof Automotive had one in stock, so I didn't have to wait over a year to get it. And I am super excited. Let's go check out what's in this truck. Definitely looks like a lot of stuff, that's for sure. Oh my God. So is this just one big pallet? That it, okay, sweet. It's not that heavy though, but. Yeah, it's, it's like all carbon fiber and oh, okay. it's all like carbon fiber and fiberglass and stuff. So that is insane. Can't believe it's actually here. That's a lot of stuff. I mean, you gotta think it's, you know, front lip, rear diffuser, wide fenders all around, a hood and a big wing too. Uh, now we just gotta wait for this forklift to come around so we can get it in the shop and uh, start inspecting everything. Go ahead and go down. All the way. Keep it coming. Okay, let's open this puppy up. Got, this has got to be the hood, as big as this is right here. Wide From Japan. Yeah, this is the yeah. bonnet. Yeah, this is the hood. Yep, cooling bonnet. Uh, let's see, this is the GT wing right here. We got the front lip, rear fender shroud. So this is the, these are the rear fenders right here. Uh, this is the side skirt. Yeah, definitely shout out to Bulletproof. Shout out to Varus too for making such an awesome kit for this car. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Kinetic's bank account for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Typically a body kit like this would take like probably around a year to produce and then ship into the US. And luckily these guys had it in stock, on the shelf, ready to be sold and um, perfect for this coming season. We're gonna come out hard, man, for sure. All right, so the first thing you should do when you get a kit like this is open everything up and check to make sure there's no damage. In this case, there's a lot of carbon fiber in this as well. And even though the boxes look really well wrapped and everything, you don't know how much it was moving around. <clears throat> Sure that doesn't fall over. All right. Oh boy. All right, so this is actually extremely well wrapped right here. So look at that carbon weave right there. Basically what, what we just, what I wanna do right now is just look for any like tears on the bubble wrap because obviously something's torn. Um, we know that that could be a potential issue right there. And if you look down in here, they have, um, most carbon fiber parts and everything, they have those wood blocks right there to kind of support everything. So the hood isn't actually sitting on the ground. So I know that there's no damage down there. There's the all carbon fiber. Of course, most of this is gonna be painted over. I'm not gonna keep it full carbon fiber on the car. So we're gonna be painting a lot of that. Still has some exposed on the hood, but not the whole thing. As my son would say, this box is looking a little sus. So we're gonna open this up and check out the, uh, the fiberglass inside and make sure everything's all good. All right, check out all the God, fiberglass in there. Pretty. Check out all the fiberglass in there. All right, so yeah, everything's taped to the box away from each other, which is kind of smart. So that way it doesn't crush if anything happened to push on the sides. So I want to be checking back here 
it's a lot of stuff, man. Okay, so you check this out. I can feel where the box is hitting the fenders over here. Oh man, this is like super close. Like, super close to the box right up here. Like that actually makes me nervous that some, would I rather have a GT3 or a $250,000 Supra? Man, you're making me feel real bad about my purchase here, sir. Probably not. I mean, it depends on how far. It depends on how far I actually go with it. Well, yeah, it's definitely over $100,000 Supra now, but I paid like 56. I paid MSRP for mine. Yeah, I did get a good deal. Shout out to Coons Toyota in Westminster for giving me a good deal on my Supra. <clears throat> Anyways, looking right here, these, these edges, actually, feel that edge right there. That's that's really cushiony. Oh, yeah, true. I got a lot of cushion right there. The hard, so The hard part's right here. I yeah. The um, this, this part's pretty close, but it doesn't look like any damage happened there. And underneath all of this, this is pretty close, too, but you can feel it's still got a lot of cushion on there. So, <clears throat> look in the box. You can see it kind of kind of dented the box a little bit. Yeah. But I think we're... I think we're in good shape. Maybe it got crushed in like while I was at in storage or something because I don't know how long they had this kit. I mean, there's not many people out there just dropping 20 grand on a body kit. So I'm sure they had it for a little bit. So this is this is pretty, I, I actually didn't know this, but the this is actually carbon fiber right here. But I thought these fenders were fiberglass and they're not. They are carbon yeah, fiber. This is all carbon? Hopefully. All carbon, dude. This is also carbon, yeah. <clears throat> yeah oh, yep. wow. Dude, this is also carbon. Quality. Yeah, super, super good quality. I mean, for the money you pay for this, it better be good quality, I'll tell you that. I guess we're gonna lay all this out and try to organize it. And then after we lay it out, then we gotta put it in a safe place and wait, <laughs> wait for the car to be cut up. My buddy Matt of Top Coat Garage is coming here to the shop and he is going to be helping me cut the fenders and fit the kit and everything. Once we do that, get it all fitted on, mounted up, uh, then we're gonna <clears throat> take it to his shop for paint. I'm hoping there's not a ton of body work to be done. I don't think there will be. And color is to be determined. I keep on going back and forth. I'm not gonna really give anyone any hints right now. If you guys have a color you think I should paint my Supra, then let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, we're just gonna start kind of unwrapping this stuff and getting this on the floor for now. So we're gonna start from the front here, guys. Um, we got the front lip, which Wayne uh, looks like he put upside down, but that's okay because it's just a mock-up. <laughs> wide fenders. Uh, this is a bumper extension for the wide fenders. All this stuff is for the side skirt right here. Uh, you got the side skirt extensions on the back. Big old side skirt right there. And keep in mind, like all this stuff is carbon fiber for the most part. These are the door garnishes that kind of transition the rear wide fenders into the back. And then we have the rear diffuser right here, the rear spats for the rear bumper, the GT wing, which is just obnoxiously big. Um, you can kind of see just a preview of what this thing's gonna look like when we're all Damn, done with it. Massive. Yeah, so it's gonna be really cool, man. One of the cool things about this kit is that they have paperwork and like somewhat instructions for, every, for little every little thing that they uh, that they supply here. I mean, shoot, man, it even comes with a new a new gas cap. Look at that, that's awesome. Don't forget the hood, look over here. So we got this full carbon fiber Barris Japan hood as well. Um, I'm not taking it out of the box because it is, it's just too bulky. I don't want to step on it. Uh, honestly, look at me, I'm like, I'm scared to step on He's anything. Splits, like I'm gonna, we gotta get this thing up in the, up and on the shelves like sooner than later. Next step is going to be actually getting the car in here and, oh gosh, cutting it all up so we can fit all this stuff on. Actually, before that, we're gonna have to take everything off of the car and kind of like deface it for what it is because uh, I got a bunch of parts on there that I'm gonna take off, sell uh, before I even start putting any of this stuff on. So let's go do that. Okay, so I'm gonna have a few parts for sale here. So, spage, front lip, 
and it actually comes with a splitter kit as well. I got professional awesome brackets that are not installed currently, but I want uh, 2,500 for that. We are going to be selling the AP Racing front brake kit. This is the competition front brake kit, barely used. Uh, 2500 for that thing. It'll fit 18 inch wheels all day long. Comes with Hulk HP pads too. I'd wanted to stick with street pads because I really won't race the car. I got some Volk Racing Any 24 uh, wheels over here on the tire shelf that you can't see. Uh, I'm going to be asking 4000 for them with the Hankook RS3 tires. Um, they're 18 by 10 and a half squared. So you gotta have coilovers for the Supra if you want that. Oh yeah, uh, I'm going to be going airlift suspension. So I'm selling my coilovers. They're feel coilovers, the 441 plus. Uh, they come with Swift Springs. I'm going to be asking 1200 for them. So let me know if you need them. Yeah, if you guys need anything, whether it's off of this car or brand new, definitely let us know. <sighs> okay, so this is it. This is the full A90 Supreme wide body kit by Varus Japan. Um, Again, shout out to Bulletproof Automotive for making it happen. Um, having the kit on the shelf, uh, that's just, I mean, who has something like this on the shelf? That's great. I can't wait to get this thing mocked up and ready for paint. Uh, it's gonna be a wild adventure. And um, hopefully we'll be seeing you guys come this time late spring uh, and or summertime, uh, depending on how fast we get it done, in this totally revamped Supra. So. If you can, I need you to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you follow every little piece of this journey because it's gonna be a fun one. See you guys next time. Holy shit, biscuits.